So one of the things as someone that does videos a lot is uh, storage. So the folks over at Yoda Master, almost Yoda, it's close, but it's Yoda Master, uh, have this new enclosure. It's their Swift Wind M.2 SSD enclosure. Compatible, just you can see, compatible with M.2 SSDs, equipped with a cooling fan, uh, aluminum alloy shell, quick and easy installation, all kinds of things that I like. Also, because it supports USB 4 and Thunderbolt, I believe Thunderbolt, it says 40 gigs, you're going to get crazy speeds. Yeah, compatible with Thunderbolt 4, 3, USB 4, 3.2, 3.1. Now realize if you're using 3.2 or 3.1, you're not going to get full speed to get that 40 gigabits gigabytes, gigabytes, gigabits, gigabytes, you are going to require uh, USB 4 or Thunderbolt. Uh, I have my Mac Pro here. And as you can see from here, and this is the uh, original M1 MacBook Pro. If you scroll down here under ports, these are Thunderbolt 3 up to 40, uh, USB 4 up to 40, and uh, if you are, and this is right, two Thunderbolt USB-C ports, if you use USB 3.1, you're gonna get 10. Now I believe 3.2, maybe 20, I don't, I'm not 100%, doesn't matter, uh, USB 4, so we're good, so we can do a good test. Anyways, uh, this is this is it here, you guys are, are seeing it on their website. Uh, it got three and a half stars out of eight reviews. Now I'm, I'm a little curious, uh, original and updated review below. What does it say? The SSD can randomly unmount itself. Mm, I will try and simply see what happens. Uh, that was the original. Uh, what do they say here? It says, major points to Yodomaster for quickly reaching out to me and noting this enclosure is not compatible with my laptop. Because they are only hitting 882, which to me means that they are running just standard USB, right? So that that's probably either pre Thunderbolt. Uh, what is this? This one, I these two, I can't I can't read at all, and nor can I read that one. So the only ones that I have is from a uh, MacBook that is old. Now, when Yoda Master reached out to me, they literally asked what machine I was plugging this into. And I said, I have a MacBook Pro M1 and I have a Mac Studio M1 Max. So they're like, yeah, no, we're good. So the cool thing about this, and this is something that I've noticed with a lot of, especially for me that again, runs a lot of video software. So I'm editing for hours per day, is that SSDs, especially this one, this one looks fairly small, which I like. You know, you usually see these enclosures they're fairly big, they're fairly chunky because of the fact that they're using the enclosure as a heatsink because the actual uh, M2 or the SSD inside them gets fairly hot, which means that they have to dissipate because if that heat gets up, what happens is the drive itself slows down. So we wanted to keep it high speed. So this has a fan, so I'm very curious. Now, we're gonna open this up and take a look. But for us to test this, I had to buy, and I and I did buy this, and, and you guys will see this. This is a King Spec. I have never no idea. King Spec, right? King Spec, who who is King Spec? I don't know. Anyways, just so you guys can see what I bought. This is it right here. So again, it's not probably the fastest. Um, $138. Pretty good for two terabytes, right? Uh two terabyte gen three and four. By four, I go NVMe M2 SSD up to 3,500 uh, megabytes, uh, 3D Nano Flash 2280. And the 2280 was important because I had to make sure that it was compatible, which this one was. And uh, I just thought that makes more sense. One terabyte 90, still a good deal. 138 though, you know, I don't know if it's on sale, but uh, we we shall see. 130, 138 for two terabytes. I thought that was good. Three three year warranty. This this I bought. This I bought. Okay, so let's crack this open. And Swift Wind. I like the fact that it has a fan. That's kind of cool. Now there's, uh, it seems, this is all their, their specs. You guys may be able to read that. Some of that is in, I'm guessing Chinese, but there's your, there's your English right there. Windows, Mac, Linux, Android. It says Windows, Mac, OS. I'm, I'm wondering if it, it shouldn't have an issue. You should be able to plug this into like an iPhone, especially the new ones with US, USB-C. And you should also, 
be able to just, you know, plug it in probably with some kind of USB-C to USB-A adapter or something like that. Because, you know, you can plug them into whatever. You should. I can't see why not. You probably just are just like, uh, we don't want to say iPhone because somebody's going to have like a three-year-old iPhone and this is going to be an issue. Anyways, this is kind of the how you install it. This is all in a language I cannot read. This is in the language I can read. There you go. But the, the fonts are good size. I'm, I'm down with that. It's a good size one. Okay, so that's that is bigger than I actually thought it was going to be because it's long. You know, this is going to be your USB. It has USB-A. Well, actually, because we will use their cable just to make sure, right? This is USB-C uh, and then it's USB-A on one side or you can take this off and you got your USB-C on that side. So we will keep that handy. These are going to be uh, little things for inside just to make sure I think everything's level. This is going to be your, um, basically, I think it's like a heat heat tape, heat dissipation tape, something like that. Is that it? And then we have uh, a cover. I'm guessing this would probably go in like this and slide over top of it. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. And then this, because this is the important part. I'm just going to put that stuff over there. This is the important, this is the enclosure. So it's, uh, I would say it's actually much longer than a lot of, and it's got some weight. This is, this is all metal, right? But I do think it's cool that you get to see, we'll take this off because that you get to see the inside. I think that's kind of slick, right? Yodel Master goes in there. There's your little fan. There's your USB-C uh, slash Thunderbolt port. Some, some venting in here, which is where the fan's gonna get, I'm guessing blow the air in through here. Okay, I'm down. I'm down with that. Now, I also need to uh, take out this. So, the hope is I do this right. And you can see, I'm hoping this is uh, toolless. Does this just, yeah, so this, this just slides off. You can see it, right? Just, just a click, you just pop it off that way. Toolless. That's also excellent. So, that's there. My guess is, see how they have these little little slots right there? My guess is, and I'm, again, just completely guessing, is that you put this near the end. I'm hoping. Do I know what I'm doing? Not necessarily. I'm hoping, see this? My hope is that this just goes into one of these and then it turns so that it's it's a, like a pressure point so it doesn't, it can't, the memory can't bend it down. It all depends on the size, right? So does it say on these? Which ones they're for? No, but that's fine. It doesn't matter. We're gonna take this one out. Let's see how good cheap does. It's the NX series. You can't can't ask for more than that. So the one thing that I don't have, nobody nobody seems to have supplied. That is a tiny tiny little screw. Don't don't lose that by any means. Oh, see this is so you don't need the screw. This will go in here. Yes. And keep it keep it level it's all coming together okay so this can only go in one way which means it goes in this way and usually that's on a, like a 45 okay which is the long one here this is going this goes in here you stick it in it slides in and then you spin it so just so you guys can see it's in so this little piece here, right? Just make sure it's in properly and spun. You put it in on an angle and you you slide this this little this little piece in with it, uh, turned. Then you drop them both and then you spin this dial so it locks itself in. Yes, yes. Okay. Now we have this here, which is the heat stuff, heat shield goodness along with this so i'm guessing this can go on this possibly i don't know how that works so it says this drive automatically has a heat sticker on it which is great i am see they have this right this this definitely goes in there i'm just i'm wondering if you would you know stick this oops stick this in here which makes sense, this goes in, in here. And then this, because again, it's metal, so it is another heat 
like a uh, heat sticker. I'm gonna, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just doing this. There it is. That's, that's what I'm doing. I'm putting it like that. Is that right? I don't know. I have no idea. You guys watching it, if I can do it, you can do it. If this doesn't explode, all the best. Yes? Anyways, there it is. We take this Yoda Master, Yoda Master, and it simply, I said, I said simply, this goes on one of these ways. Yes? It goes on one of these ways. Maybe this way? There it is. Okay. See, that looks all right. You know? Oh, I got my sticker a little bit far. far. That's okay. That's all. Doesn't matter. So we're doing this. We're doing this on a Mac. This video is taking longer than I thought. Anyways, we're gonna bring this over here. We're going to plug you in. You guys should still be able to see me. We're going to take you first off. Here's here's the curiosity. Ready? Plug. It's quiet, but yeah, you can. It's spinning. Yeah, the little fans. It's it's blowing in there. That's cool. I like that. Let's just stick that over there. Uh, I have to initialize this drive. There it is, NX two terabyte. So I am going to uh, erase this drive. We're going to call it Yoda Master Yoda. Uh, yep, yep, yep. APFS. Yep, good. Boom. It says done. And Yoda is two point oh five terabytes. You guys are seeing it. So let's bring up. Uh, black magic speed test just to see on this drive stress. Yep. File select target. Okie dokie. We're bringing up Yoda. Good old Yoda and start. That's not too bad for right. Oh, look at the read. Oh yeah. 27, 27. That's fantastic. And I'm getting writes 1273. Yeah, that read is plenty fast. Now, this may also be a bit of a limitation of uh, the write speed of this drive. That is definitely a possibility. Because we can see that the throughput of the enclosure is definitely hitting like tw 2730. That's fantastic. And even, you know, 1300 about for the other one. I'm down. I literally can do... Uh, ProRes uh, 12K60, I can do a read, uh, and Blackmagic RAW, I can do 12K re read and write with this, with this enclosure and this drive. That's pretty good. I, I'm pleased with that. Um, I think, you know, if you possibly bought a better internal drive, like a better spec m2 because it is getting the speeds or at least close to the speeds what they say but i'm pretty sure what they say is in regards to read not write that's what a lot of companies do anyways uh enclosure wise it's good and i was a little concerned that the fan would be loud but you literally have to get down here to hear it but that's with the with the with the like the heat tape and the fan that's going to keep that nice and cool all right guys uh that's fantastic i like i like that that's gonna that's gonna be awesome for editing on Yoda Master. And, you know, again, you probably could get faster for more money, but I'll put a link to the actual M.2 NVMe drive that I got because for two terabytes for like 130, 140 bucks uh, Canadian, that's not too bad. All right, guys, uh, links down below to all this stuff and uh, we'll see you guys next video. Later.